With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss one question on coordinate geometry. So here in this question we are given that the d coordinate is 3 comma minus 2. The e coordinate is minus 3 comma 1 and the f coordinate is 4 comma minus 3. And these d, e and f are the midpoints of the sides b, c, c, a and a, b of a triangle ABC. Now in such a case we need to find the coordinates of the point A, point B and the point C. So let us visualize this question by using a diagram. So here in this question we are given a triangle. So let us first draw a triangle here. So let us say that we have the triangle ABC like this. So let us name it. So let us say that this is the vertex A, this is the point B and this is the point C. Now it is given that the point D lies on the BC side. So here we have the point D, the point E lies on the CA side. So here we have the point E somewhere here and the point F lies on the AB side. So here we have the point F somewhere here. So the coordinates of the point D is 3 comma minus 2 as given in the question. Similarly here we have the minus 3 comma 1 and here we have the 4 comma minus 3 like this. Now let us say that the coordinates of the point A is x1, y1. Similarly, the coordinates of the point B is x2, y2. And the coordinates of the point C is x3, y3. We have assumed them. Now, by using the midpoint theorem, we can say that if we have the coordinates of the point A as x, a, y, a and the coordinates of the point B as x, b, y, b, then the midpoint coordinate of the point x would be the x, a plus x b all divided by 2. Similarly, the coordinate y of the midpoint would be the y a plus y b all divided by 2. So, similarly by using these formulas, we are going to write the midpoints of the points a and b. So, we consider the points a and b. Then for a and b, we have the midpoint as a point f. So, the x coordinate of the point f would be 4 and it would be basically x1 plus x2 by 2 like this. So if we solve this then we get the equation x1 plus x2 is equals to 8. So let us say that this is the equation 1. Now similarly we are going to write the y coordinate of the point f. So the y coordinate of the point f is minus 3. So here we have the minus 3 and it would be equals to the y1 plus y2 whole divided by 2. So if we solve this then we get the y1 plus y2 as the minus 6. So let us say that this is the equation 2. Now we are going to write the coordinates of the point A. So here we know that the point E is the midpoint of the coordinates A and C. So here if we consider the points A and C then the midpoint is E and if we consider the x coordinate that is the minus 3 then it would be equals to the x1 plus x3 all divided by 2. So from this we get the x1 plus x3 as minus 6. So let us say that this is the equation 3. Similarly, we have the y coordinate that is the 1 and it would be equals to here we have the y1 plus y3 whole divided by 2. So here we have the y1 plus y3 whole divided by 2 and from this we get the y1 plus y3 is equals to 2. So this is the fourth equation. Now we are going to consider this point D. So here we have the point D as the midpoint of the B and C. So here if we consider the B and C then the midpoint would be D. And from this we get the x coordinate of the point D that is 3 and it would be equals to the x2 plus x3 all divided by 2. And from this we get the x2 plus x3 and it would be equals to 6. So let us say that this is the equation 5. And similarly we have the y coordinate that is the minus 2 and it would be equals to the y2 plus y3 like this. And this is all divided by 2. So from this we get the y2 plus y3 and it would be equals to minus 4. And let us say that this is the equation number 6. So now we are going to add the equations, the equation 1, the equation 3 and the equation 5. So if we add all of these three equations then we get on the left hand side we have, here we have the x1 and here we also have the x1. So it would be twice of x1. Similarly here we have the x2 and here we have the x2. So it would be twice of x2. Similarly here we have the twice of x3 like this. 
so it would be if we take two common then it would be the x1 plus x2 plus x3 and it would be equals to on the right hand side we have the 8 minus 6 plus 6 so this minus 6 and this plus 6 gets cancelled out and we are left with the 8 so if we solve this then we get the x1 plus x2 plus x3 and it would be equals to 4 so let us say that this is the equation number 7 now by using this equation number 5 we know that the x2 plus x3 is 6 so if we substitute the x2 plus x3 as 6 then we get the value of the x1 as the 4 minus 6 which is minus 2 so we have got the value of the x1 as minus 2 so here we have the value of x1 as minus 2 now similarly we have the value of the x1 plus x2 so the value of the x1 plus x2 from this equation 1 is 8 so now we are going to substitute the x1 plus x2 as 8 in this equation 7 so here we have the 8 plus x3 and this is equals to 4 so from this we get the value of x3 as minus 4 so we have also got the value of x3 now we have the value of x1 and the value of x3 so if we substitute both of these values here in this equation 7 then we get the value of x2 so the x2 would be here we have the 4 minus x1 so it would be plus 2 here and we also have the minus x3 so it would be plus 4 here so if we sum this up then we finally get the value of the x2 as 4 plus 4 that is 8 plus 2 that is 10 so we have also got the value of x2 as 10 so we have the value of x1 x2 and x3 now similarly we are going to find the value of the y1 y2 y3 and for that we are going to sum up the equations the equation number 2, the equation number 4 and the equation number 6. So if we do that then on the left hand side we get the twice of y1 plus twice of y2 plus twice of y3 in the similar fashion. So if we take the two common out then we get on the left hand side the two times of the y1 plus y2 plus y3 and on the right hand side we would be having here we have the minus 6 and here we have the 2 so minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4 and minus 4 is also there so minus 4 minus 4 is minus 8 so here we have minus 8 like this so if we solve this then we finally get the value of the y1 plus y2 plus y3 and it would be minus 4 now we already know the value of y1 plus y2 which we have computed here using the equation 2 so we substitute the value of y1 plus y2 as minus 6 so here we have the minus 6 and from this we can get the value of the y3 as the minus 4 plus 6 if we take this y1 plus y2 on the right hand side so from this we get the y3 as plus 2 so we have got the y3 as 2 here now similarly we are going to find the values of y1 and y2 now this time we are going to put the value of the y1 plus y3 as 2 from this equation number 4 so here we have the y1 plus y3 as 2 so here we have the 2 plus y2 is left here and this is equals to minus 4 so from this we get the value of y2 as the minus 4 minus 2 that is minus 6 so we have also got the value of y2 as minus 6 now we are going to put the y3 and y2 values here in this equation so if we put these values here then we get the y1 plus y2 and the y2 is minus 6 plus y3 y3 is plus 2 and this is equals to minus 4 so here we have the minus 4 and here we also have the minus 4 so from this we get the value of this y1 as so y1 would be equals to 0 so we have got the y1 as 0 so here we have the x1 y1 so we have the x1 y1 as the value of x1 was minus 2 and the value of y1 here we have got a 0 similarly we have the value of x2 y2 as the x2 is 10 and the y2 we have computed here as minus 6 like this and we also have the value of the x3 y3 so the x3 we which we have computed here as minus 4 and we also have the y3 as 2 so x1 y1 is the point a this is point b and this is point c now in the question they have asked us to find the coordinates of the a b and c so here we have got the coordinate of the point a is this we have got the coordinate of the point B as this and this is the coordinates of the point C. So this is our solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. 
Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.